Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing great today and we are here for the new video of our series One Day One Legion. Today as you guys requested in the comments of the previous video we are going to play Aeonithiel and the Ultramarines. So that's the list we're going to be using. Right? We rely a lot on energy manipulation. We play Abundance Supplies, we play Logos Lectora, we play Supply Lands, Asteroid Belt and of course all the articles cost one less. I don't run that many of them main deck, only Suppression Fire on Logos Lectura, and also one defensible, one defensible position, of course. Um, but we are going to try and generate a lot of them during the game. So, what do we do when we have all of these energy manipulation things done? We simply use it to crush our opponents with simply bigger Astartes and a rain of damage in the late game with Macragis on Or, Mietrich Cruiser, and Suppression Fire and the one who we have generated by them. Alright, so let's jump straight into the games. I do believe we're top 50 right now. I mean, I'm sure we're top 50, but we're we, well, something like 21st. So we're gonna try and breach that top 20. Alright, so I'm only keeping energy manipulation cards early on. I um I don't want to generate too many cards. I I would be really glad if I could stay below five cards. Of course, we always run to draining side with abundant supplies. It's the risk we're taking by running those two cards, but I do think it's worth it. Defensive position is not a great card to give him. I kind of like it. Smith Cruiser might be good for later on. And I go with the abundant supplies first, just because I really want to run to Astartes with it. So, if I did it the other way around, I will reduce my chance of that to happen, so I'm doing it this way. Okay, I am not going to attack, I think, in this matchup. Maybe I should. I do have some burst, I do have some healing, so I could have gone for it, but I just feel like not doing it. Okay, and one extreme tattoos, alright, this is a problem. Oh, I can deal with it, I'll just deal with the next turn. Yeah, I don't. I really don't want to let that thing grow too much. I mean, I could get rid of it with the Mythic Cruiser, but he will we'll leave us for five next turn, and I don't want that to happen. So I'll just go with this. And next turn, we'll go for probably. Probably Theon or that. Okay, Spear turn three. Great. We'll have to see that. I'll go with the Bell just to make sure I can empty my hand. As quick as, uh, as possible right after that. And now keep the Dreaming Sight. I don't like using Dreaming Sight just to get rid of one card. I mean, just to use one of the two energy after that. Okay. This is still fine for now. This is probably not a good matchup. But it's not going too bad. Okay, so we gotta be careful with positioning here. I will put the... I will put my safe in the middle. Should be good. And I'll play defensive. Do I play that? It's a shame we stand. I think, we, I, think I do play that. I could, keep it, I could keep it for Nautilon score later on, but... I just use it now. Alright. So he should have a hard time attacking me, dealing with this. Could play Lambda Thunderhawk. But if he does that, then. Okay, he's not killing that for now. And we're mitigating some of the damage. Which is good. Okay, this is good. This is also good. I'm gonna go with Mietrich Cruiser. And um, I will play my. Turning some manifest destiny so that we get way below that six card threshold. Okay, so next turn we will play Ancient Marcellus, and then we will just hope we can win with this Marcellus alone. All I need now is another stun. Maybe I should have keep, kept uh, the first one. Still goes straight to our face. Okay, so he's out of Lambda Thunderhawks, which is very, very good news. It's, it's very good news, I mean. 
Okay, this is good. This is very good. Oh no, this is useless because it needs courage to flank actually. Alright. So what can we do here? I guess I just play that dude here. You heal yourself. That's fine. Gotta prefer if it if it would have healed my my head, I mean, but I can live with that. Yep, he created that. More stuns. Macro is honor. Great. So next turn is the big... Um, is a big thing, if I had to say that. So I need to empty my hand as much as I can. I can't really play Melgato Ambassador. I mean, maybe I will. Maybe I will. So I'll play one Apothecary. That is the worst thing that will happen to us. I'm gonna play it now. One suppression fire. And one Logos Lector. And I guess we don't attack here. I mean, I, I guess we don't ping. I'm not going to ping him. And I'm, I will not play Melgator on his own Melgator. If my things were had five attack, I would have. But now I think we're good. It's only a team on score now. Sure, he has it. It was to be. This was to be expected. But we still have a front line. We have two front lines actually. All right, so I'm gonna go down to three cards in hand. I will put this right in the middle, so that. If he plays the, if he plays the instrument on that, then he, he that doesn't uh, that doesn't kill its neighbors. And if he plays the instrument on the Marcellus, it only kills this thing. His other land death on the hoax. He played one silent death already. He played a on score. We are below six cards in hand, so his fortune is better and doesn't do it. All right. We we got very lucky that Marcellus didn't got get healed by these things. This is gonna take Macrage's honor. I'm gonna use it there. And probably bounce that thing. And you should be out of good options. So I'll use that there. There is also there's still the instrument we need to be careful about. But that's pretty much it. Double silent death, Ottoman score go are gone. Our hand is very small, so we are not afraid of the of the harrowing. We are very very high on health. Should be good. We should be good here. Because still we some do some some shenanigans with oh with this for example. Oh, I could have kept Malagato just to anticipate that. But I mean, I'm still so healthy that I can tank that. For the Emperor, yeah. So there's not much I can do now. This is a secret order he plays main deck, so I'm not afraid of doing that. If it was randomly generated by, let's say, the 4 4 4, four co that costs 4, I would have... I would have been mindful about it, but no, I'm not. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything, just because I don't want the my apothecaries to heal the male control, for example. Not to heal themselves. So he could still have some shenanigans with the... What is it called? the uh, orbital bases, but like it would be a very strange deck running both running both silent death and orbital bases creates a Marcellus in his hand which I don't mind so what do we do now 
Oh, we can kill our thing. That's very good. There are no traps in our deck, so we are not worried about that too. Yeah, he did turn. He did morph turn one. Okay, and what then? I guess this should go here because I really don't want to attack face with that dude. So we're gonna shoot him in the face first. Suppression fire is great. So and we still need to be careful about the Harry. So I'm just gonna empty my hand just as much as I can. And I will not play the belt, I think. So I go with this. Where do I how do I position this? Uh this goes. And that goes here, I guess. And I can shoot him. If it was injured, I would have attacked with it. But since it's not, uh, I don't want to injure him so that my apothecaries don't heal him. Only three cast in hand steel, which is good. We should be able to nail this. I didn't roll the bell too because maybe he has a plan where he just mills us. Like turning back into, uh, he I mean he turns back into into Alpha Legionarian. He plays a bunch of uh, seeds of treason, and uh, that would suck. That would really suck. So I'm, I'm trying not to do that, but to give him this opportunity. I mean, okay, so I'm doing that. I'm doing that. So that six. There, it's good enough. Yep, so just playing the captain. I put it there. Three damage here. Chain of command on me. And we set up lethal. Should I attack with this? No. Let's get the heal. Oh, that was a lucky ping. There's still the instrument. Yeah, one of many. As expected. And manifest destiny, wow, okay. And a trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's pretty it's pretty much the only chance he has left. Just going with many traps. Okay, so that's first. Suppression fire is great. We have lethal. 13, 16. No, we need we only need three we are three MHF. So I'll play that and I will play the secret the, the tactical that is generated. Legos Lectora is good. So I'll use it. And I kinda think we're one off. Yeah, we're one off. I just pretend we have lethal. Should I play this? I don't think so. I know I could have both the attack of one of my thing, but I'm scared of the instrument right now, so I'm not gonna give him this chance. It should be good. Yeah, I play that pretty slow, but I always want to think and think and think over the game when I'm facing off a legion. There are so many cards we can play around. That would be a shame just to die stupidly because we didn't care about positioning or whatever. I could have played Draining Side just to avoid that. But I mean, if he does that, then he's probably dead no matter what. I mean, we could still draw. Wow, okay. Okay, so we can still draw some bad traps. Alright, so I'll. I will just put this one more thing down on the far left. I could ping something of my own just to generate something good, but I don't know exactly what could generate. Okay, and I never mind. I'll use the draining site. I will not draw. I will not draw because I don't want to draw into the traps he played. He played two traps, and if there is any false flag, it could be could be painful. Okay, Haring doesn't do it for him. 
This, yeah, there's no way he can rescue us. There's no way he can deal 24 damage. Even if we draw into... Even double Seas of Streets and doesn't do it. So we should be fine with the Mewtwo Screws. I don't know why he did that. He should, he should be all in to kill us. So he missed two damage here. Okay. No trap steal. Secret at all. We are not gonna attack with anything whatsoever, so should be fine. And we don't do anything. Alright, so we win. Great. Now that was the first one. Let's do another one. Breaker for the Legend is buried us. And I think yeah, we just got our top twenty back. So let's try and say we won the game in the top 20 with any kill. Oh, Angran. I'm not sure how good this matchup is. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's a bad matchup. Uh, maybe I could keep that. Maybe I could keep that, actually. No, I just... I want some other things first. Okay, so we got, we got abandoned supplies first, and then... And then logos and ping. This is very good. We can we can play that turn too, actually. We definitely are going to. If he has the speeder, then he doesn't have the speeder anymore. He could get rid of it with speeder and counterattack. If he does that, it uses his entire turn, it's five damage we didn't take to the face. And if he doesn't, we're gonna heal for very much we're gonna heal for a lot. And that's great. I'm almost hoping he goes, he goes for speeder and counter attack. But if he doesn't, I'm fine also, of course. I can't really play those, but it's fine. I'll give myself frontline just because it's the one and only time I can use that. And I will wait for playing my logos until I can play frontline first. He didn't go Mortal Strike here. No Mortal Strike. Don't tell me he has nothing. Oh, poor guy. Okay, so I just go with that, and this is a plus four plus four. I'm a swing. Because now the physiognomy of the game is very much, it's, it's very different. It's not only about Healing and dealing damage, not only a race, there is there is a notion of board control. Tempo actually sometimes matter. I mean yeah, tempo always matter against Ungrain, it's what it's meant to be. But like board control sometimes matters and this is one of the game where it actually matters. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, command bridge. I'll go for the kill. <laughs> He hasn't paid abandoned supplies yet. And because of a child, we're gonna do this. Heal yourself, that's good. Do this, please. Perfect. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He has a contract to deal with that. Alright, let's, let's see what he does here. Another gold child. Now, I think we have lethal, right? We do! Great. You, I don't think you should run to go trial in Angron. I think like it's a bit too much. Alright, perfect! So that was the second game. That went pretty quickly. That was good. And we won in the top 20. That's great, man. Still is great world, still. Despite his nerf, quite a long time ago actually, he's still very He's still a very good warlord. I don't know how, ex just how good exactly in this meta. I think he's gonna suffer a lot against Sisters of Silence, for example. I should... I will need to play the matchups a couple times. So yeah, that was it for today. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for suggesting me to play this warlord because it's a fun one. And a good one too. And let's see what we can do tomorrow. We need the new legion. Why wouldn't just play Iron Hands? We haven't played it yet. Uh, I'm curious to see if we can actually make something walk in the 20. 
So make a choice in the comment between Shadok Medus and his sneak attack abilities, Gabriel Sumter and his very bulky style. I do have played a little bit. I have played him a little bit, I mean. Ferris Manis, I haven't played him, but there can be some very big fast nobly decks. And Amadeus Duquesne, pfft, I don't know. This one is only good when he's, when he's piloted by the bots, I think. It's the only way to make it work. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a, a comment below just so that I know what Warlord I'm going to be playing tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow in, in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.